Hello everyone. Um, today I want to, to introduce our um, authoring tool um, product that is the Fast Pass Tracer, and it is um, honored by my partner Rohit Chandran and me going for. Um, this, as you can see, this is the result we get. Um, the middle one is our result, and the red one is the ground truth. Um, so basically, the goals of our of our tool is to shorten the rendering time um, when using the pass tracing algorithms, and it can improve the poor quality of rendering um, images when uh, when just um, using pass tracing in a very low sample rate. And the target users of our, of our tool is the is the artists who want a quick preview of their work, and also the rendering. Engineers who don't want to waste too much time in rendering rendering uh, an image. Another uh, capabilities and features is that um, it can render the scene in Maya. It 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 can be about 20 times faster than the rendering scenes at a high sample rate, um, such as 2000s or so, um, and it can be adaptive to the user's preference of, or of resolutions, qualities, etc. And the users can select this, select what, whatever they want to balance between the quality and the speed. And it can also support it, it can support um, cubes, spheres, and splines geometries. Um, this is what, what we add. And for the technical approach, we we refer to the uh, to a secret paper in 2012. Uh, the title is the reconstructions in the light field for global illuminations um, by Latinos and others. And the main idea of this of this paper is that they try they are trying to reuse the information that captures in the basic low sample rate pass tracing. And as they are doing the pass tracing, they can collect uh, many points in the many points in the in the scene and each of these points can emit some readings to to a certain directions. So they collect this data to collect this data, gather them together and make to add some splats splats um, supports to it to make them into uh, many splats and filters the data and then re reconstruct in the inner like field according to the to such data. This is the main idea of the technical technical approach of the of the uh, of this the paper, and our results shows um, about uh, about 20 times faster than the ground truth, um, at resolutions of six, uh, 600 by 800. It, uh, it it is about 25 times faster. Um, at six mm, 640, it is um, it is 16 times. And as we can see, in, uh, as we can see, um, the higher resolution it is, um, the more um, speed up we can achieve. Um, so this is basic, basic result. And next, we'll show uh, the workflow of our authoring tool um, to show how to use the authoring tool. So in order to use the tool that we've developed, it's required that um, a scene in Maya be set up. So in this example, we've recreated uh, the Cornell box in Maya. So once the scene is set up and the artist is ready to render out the image, we just go and open up our uh, plugin. We modify the uh, parameters, such as sample rate, number of reconstruction rays, and all that, which uh, affects the quality of the final image. And in, uh, we can also set the resolution of the final rendered image. In this example, we are setting it to a low image in the uh, for in you know for uh, in the interest of time. And the quality setting of the final image rendered image can also be set by selecting one of these presets. So once all the options are set, you click on the render button, and that will start. Uh, path tracing the image and reconstructing the indirect light field over the image. As you can see in the output window, um, right now it's reconstructing the indirect light field for the, for the entire scene. And once the rendered image rendering is done, uh, the result is available in the render view.
and this is the result that we get.